I have a friend who works for the FBI and I asked him how to deal with the online harassment that I get from a certain subreddit, from Kiwi Farms, from places like that. And he told me the only way to fight that stuff back is to expose those people for what they really are. So that's what this video is. What's going on guys? You know, today we're going to be talking about one of my personal favorite YouTubers, that of course being Boogie2988. Now Boogie is back at it again, man. Like this man just cannot learn to keep his mouth shut. He is always getting himself into like these really just awful situations. I don't really even know what you would call it, dude. Like this man is low-key self-destructive in every single way that he acts online. It's actually impressive. But anyway, I actually made a video on Boogie like what, four or five months ago? ago when he had some really hot takes about the entire troll situation on Twitch and well I'll just play that quick clip for you real quick. I think you are the lowest of the low. I think you are the worst of the worst. I think that there are fucking rapists and Nazis out there who even though they are rapists and fucking Nazis they are more redeemable than you because at least they're doing something they fucking believe in. And well, when I made that video, there was a huge controversy going around it because that was a pretty hot take, dude. Saying that internet trolls are worse than Nazis and rapists isn't really something that I think most people would agree on. But anyway, Boogie since then has not learned whatsoever. He like came out and said, yeah, I need to learn to be quiet online. But this time, you know, he has enlisted the help of America's number one investigative agency, the FBI, in order to bring down these evil trolls in a subreddit, dude. I mean, 2020 is already off to a fantastic start man like you would never be able to think yeah dude in 2020 we're going to be talking about a youtuber named boogie2988 most famous for putting doritos and fucking mountain dew in a blender and drinking it you know he's enlisted the fbi to bring down internet trolls that makes fun of all the dumb shit he says and does on the internet so you know god forbid it's the internet people are going to make fun of you if you put yourself out there that's part of the territory but anyway it was too much for him to handle so he enlisted the fbi to help to figure out how to expose these trolls for what they really are and in his master plan he came up with a great idea that included him lying publicly about himself getting swatted twice in the month of December so you know this should be a pretty interesting video all things considered I don't really have anything better to do so I figured this would be fun to sit back relax and watch this together and get a good laugh at the same time but without further ado guys let's go ahead and check out this video first off if you watch my channel, you've probably been recommended one of these videos exposing me. And man, there's a lot of stuff in this that is very fair criticism. I've said and done some really stupid stuff in my 14 years on YouTube, my 10 years on Twitch. I mean, I've said and done some really indefensible stuff. But one of the major themes of all of these videos is that I'm a lying manipulator, that I've lied to my that I've manipulated you guys, that the abuse I went through isn't true or that the suicidal impulses that I talk about feeling, those aren't true. I don't actually have any mental disorders. And then I lie about all of this stuff to try to manipulate my audience, I guess, to make money or something along that lines. And all of those rumors come from one place, one place only, and that's a known hate subreddit. Okay, so this is funny. Like, already, he's already lying right through his fucking teeth, which, I mean, is not surprising. It's Boogie we're talking about here. So he's basically saying, yeah, these videos do a great job of calling out all the stuff that I've done over the years, and they try to portray me as, like, this lying, manipulative person who lied to their fans about their, like, personal abuse and try to say that it's fake. And I watched the videos. Like, especially that top one. Like, that top video is really good if you want a great understanding of this entire backlash surrounding Boogie. But he's lying and manipulating right here trying to basically say like oh yeah this video tried to call me out and say that I never suffered abuse which the guy who made that video even made it a point to say in that video several times I know because I've seen it that Boogie probably is suffering from his childhood abuse and that's what's affecting his mental state and is not helping him in these decisions he has to make when interacting with people online so right here is a perfect example of Boogie lying and manipulating his audience to basically misrepresent a video that was basically calling him out on all the dumb 
dumb shit he has said and done over the years on YouTube. And at the same time, Boogie, he's just a professional victim. It's never his fault. Someone else is always to blame. There's a million excuses why he can't do something. But at the same time, he's like blaming this Reddit basically for the downfall of his entire career when this Reddit solely exists to collect and record all the dumb shit he does and says online, whether it be tweets, YouTube videos, Twitch stream clips. So it's not even like they're going out of the way to falsify stuff. They're collecting it. This is all stuff that he has done and said. It's an archive. These people are not putting words in your mouth. They are collecting what you said. The only person you have to blame in that situation is yourself, dude. You are a public figure. Like it or not, whatever you say and do online is going to be recorded. Whether it be by a subreddit, whether it be by someone on Twitter, whether it be another YouTuber, it doesn't matter. When you put yourself out there on the internet, you better damn well assume everyone is recording every single thing you say. And some of these people will spend an hour or two every day doing this stuff. And not just for like a week, not for a month, but this subreddit has been actively attacking me and going through everything I've ever said and every done, ever done on the internet for the last three years. They spend hundreds of man hours every day amongst them looking for any little mistake I've ever made, anything that I could say or do, and I don't think you can trust somebody who's that possessed, that's, that's obsessed with something like that. I mean, I don't like Jake Paul, but I'm not tweeting at Jake Paul a hundred times a day. I'm not investigating Jake Paul looking for every little twist and turn. Someone who does something like that is most likely not to be trusted. I don't really know why this is a negative. It sounds like they're being thorough. They're doing their homework. They're finding specific examples of things that you've done in the past that they don't like in order to basically expose you, as you call it. Like, that's exactly what's happening here. It's not like they're just pulling shit out of their ass saying like, oh yeah, Boogie said he was going to murder an eight-year-old or something like that. No, they're not saying that. They're finding specific stream clips of you saying you would never want to be a father because you'd be afraid to sexually assault a child. Shit like that is not really up for interpretation, dude. You fucking said it. It sounds scummy as fuck and super suspect. And like them pointing that out to people is not quote unquote harassment. But at the same time, it comes with the nature of being on the internet. And what you're doing right now is exactly what they want. They're doing this for two reasons. Exposure and money, which in this case, I don't really think it's money because it's a Reddit thread. So they're doing it for exposure. They want your attention. And what you've just done is made a 17 minute long video, basically giving these people free advertisement because now more people, including your own fans, are going to head over to this Reddit thread. They're going to read through all the dumb shit you've said in the past, and their opinion is probably going to be altered greatly as a result. So congratulations, dude. You played yourself. But that's not even the point of this video. This video is because I did something very, very stupid. They've been calling me a liar and a manipulator for a really, really long time. And after talking to my friend at the FBI, after talking to a friend in PR, they made a suggestion and that was to bait them and see what would happen. And can you guys guess how he decided he was going to bait these trolls on a subreddit to prove once and for all that he was not a liar and a manipulator? Well, he decided he was going to lie to and manipulate his audience into believing that someone from the subreddit had him swatted twice in the month of December. I mean, you really just cannot make this shit up. So I did. I had a private conversation with somebody I knew who posted on that message board and I filled it full of tons of misinformation to see what they would grab a hold of. Now I want to show you these receipts but someone probably from that subreddit hacked into my Twitter today. I don't have access to it. As soon as I do I'll link this video. I'll link all of the stuff and show you guys. Isn't that really fucking convenient that the day he decides to upload this video all of a sudden his Twitter account gets hacked and he knows 100% it's someone from the subreddit read it and then later today he got it back. I mean, this is way too fucking convenient. But take my word for it. I told them all kinds of outlandish stuff. I told them that I was writing a book, which is not an entire lie, but I told them that I uh, was swatted twice in December. I told them that my uh, that I dated a girl that was 43 years old for the last couple of years because I wanted to see what they would do with this information. And I just wanted to keep them busy. I wanted to bait them based on what my PR person said. They said, give them something to talk about. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something here, but I thought you were in contact with someone at the FBI who told you the best course of action was debate these people and give them something to latch onto. Now it's your PR coordinator. Which one is it, bro? So I did. What they latched onto, though, I, I was totally surprised with what they latched on because they incriminated themselves so beautifully. 
that I can't, if you have respect for these people after me showing you this, then I don't want you to have respect for me because I no longer respect you. Right here in one of the most upvoted posts on this entire subreddit, they show where they both doxed me, where they searched police records involving my address and my home information, and they have literally gone completely batshit insane. This right here is a perfect example of Boogie manipulating his audience because this entire thing, this entire information collection was based on two false allegations Boogie insinuated against this subreddit of him getting swatted twice in the month of December, okay? They never fucking happened. He never got swatted. This was all bullshit. And they were trying to clear their name and prove by going through dispatch records in Boogie's area that these swattings never fucking took place. To me, it seems like a very natural response that when you are being falsely accused of a federal crime, that you go to collect information to prove that person wrong. First up to do this, they had to look up my private information, including my address, and that is doxing me. Then they deep dove all of these uh, police dispatch logs. He literally says he spent the last four days going over these records. This is not a healthy behavior. Yeah, forgive me here, Boogie, but you know, I think lying about getting swatted twice is a whole lot worse than checking publicly available police dispatch records. This is not what a healthy person does. They searched through 4,587 records to look for my address to try to catch me in a lie that, by the way, was from a private conversation conversation that got leaked. That's how obsessed these people are. That's how dangerously mentally insane these people are. It's absolutely crazy. You know, Boogie and his infinite wisdom decided he was going to contact a member of the subreddit and give them information which he knew was going to be given to the rest of the subreddit. And now he's shocked that this information was made public. Like, what the fuck are you even thinking here? Now, he has since edited that post, but originally, in his original post, he listed the three dates that he did find that I did have visits from the police. And any idiot could then go to those police records, which are publicly available, and backwards engineer my address. That's why I'm saying I got doxxed, because any moron from that point could look at the date that he originally posted, look at the only welfare check of that day, and then 30 seconds later show up at my front door with a gun. Now, I don't want to sound like I'm white knighting for this guy, but I kind of have to do because Boogie is lying through his fucking teeth. So basically, this guy did not dox Boogie for the sake of doxing him like he's suggesting. The guy found publicly available information. Keep that in mind. All of this information is publicly available. He gathered this information to prove he had not taken part in an alleged felony that could result in 20 years of jail time. Boogie was suggesting that this guy had swatted him twice in the month of December. It never fucking happened. Boogie lied about it. He pulled it completely out of his ass and this guy was trying to prove his innocence, so he posted that publicly available information in his response to prove that he had no part in it whatsoever, and Boogie was lying through his fucking fake teeth. So anyway, Boogie, once again, you forced this dude's hand. You basically doxxed yourself, and you definitely played yourself. You can't post people's private information online, and they know that. They go right up to the edge as often as they can, but they try to stay under the rules with their harassment. This time, they crossed the line, though. That's just pure fact. Yeah, you know, falsely accusing someone of swatting you, definitely not crossing the line. I had the lie. I, I mean, they've been calling me a liar and a manipulator this whole time, and I've decided that I would just embrace it. That's what I would do in order to see if I can give them enough rope to hang themselves. They played right into it. I probably should have done this years ago when this harassment first started, but at least I did it now. I feel like absolute dirt for having lied to you guys. It, it breaks my heart. I don't like doing that kind of thing. It, it sucks. It sucks. It makes me feel like garbage to have sunk to this level. But at this point, my career is over. At this point, my YouTube channel is over. Public perception about me is completely gone. So I had nothing else to lose at this point. If I lose you, one of the last things I had to lose over it, I'm genuinely sorry. I mean, he just had to do it, man. We left him no choice. Like, he couldn't lose us, his loyal audience. You know, he just had to lie to everybody one last time to prove that everyone else calling him a liar is a lie. Like, you really cannot just make up this bullshit. Like, he's going to lie to prove he's not a fucking liar? I mean, this is some big brain shit, man. There are some people who are made for the internet, and there are some people who are not made for the internet. I think you can guess which category Boogie falls into. I genuinely 
genuinely am. And they're telling me that I broke the law by lying about this stuff, so I might even go to jail. But if it was a way to try to save my career, I hope you can understand why I did it. If it was a chance to save my relationship with you, I hope you understand why I did it. This is completely out of character for me. It fucks me up having to do it. I mean, you guys thought I was joking when I said 2020 is already off to a wild start. I mean, people are out here committing felonies for the clout. And if in your mind it comes down to my word versus them, then I want you to take a look at my 14 year history of work here on YouTube, where I've run charity streams, helped out small creators, when I would raid a small creator on Twitch every night, helping them get partnered, where I've given away money to fans, where I've done giveaways here on this YouTube channel, and all of the other good that I have done here, and compare that to any good that they've done, the lack of good that they've done, I think it's pretty easy to pick a side. It's really not about picking a side. Like, no one cares who the fuck these people are on this subreddit. Like, no one is a fan of them. No one cares what they do. They only go there because obviously they care about what you did. That's the only reason they're relevant. So your wrongs do not simply get erased because you think they've done worse. If that was the case, like, every single murderer would be set free because someone's killed more people out there. Like, it's such a stupid concept to even think about, and it's such a basic mentality to have. It's not about picking a side, Boogie. You have to own up to the shit you've done and stop giving the trolls the attention they desperately crave. But you can't do it because you feed off the attention. And once again, does this excuse any of the stupid jokes I've made that could be taken as racist, that could be taken as homophobic, or uh, something that could be taken out of context because I joke about suicide, I joke about my own molestation, no, absolutely not. Right there, dude. He cannot help himself. Like, everything he's ever done, it was just a joke, dude. It was just a prank, bro. Chill the fuck out. But if you're one of these people that have been gaslit into thinking I've been a liar, I've been a manipulator, that I've made you do something you didn't want, that I took advantage of you, that I ever wanted anything other than to entertain you and inspire you to be a better person than I am and to do better than me, if that's what you think, then I hope that maybe you will reconsider where you got that information from and take a critical look at both that information and both of what I provided here today and as well as the rest of my channel. And maybe you'll come back. You probably won't. Yeah, low-key, let me know in the comments if you ever plan on going back to Boogie's channel. I think it's going to be a no for me, dog. you know? The only way I'd probably go back is if he says something stupid again, which, you know, that's only a matter of time. But anyway, guys, with that said, I just want to give you guys the overall moral of the story here. You know, don't borderline commit a felony to own the trolls, dude. Don't falsely accuse someone of swatting you in order to get back at some internet trolls. The only thing you need to do to get back at an internet troll is just ignore them because the whole point of their existence is to get attention. That's all they crave. And well, the second you give it to them, they win and they're going to come at you harder than ever before. Boogie in his 14 years on YouTube still has not managed to fucking figure that out or else he just really loves the attention, whether it be positive or negative. I'm kind of leaning more towards the second. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to smash a like on it, dude. I would greatly appreciate it. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to check out the video and for all the recent support as well. And I will catch you guys next time.